Today is March 18th, 2020, and our world has truly become a land of confusion. We are currently under what is essentially a quarantine due to the coronavirus pandemic. Schools have been closed, non-essential businesses have been shut down, the stock market somehow managed to break the record it just set for the biggest one-day drop, the goat has left his home, and it has been recommended to utilize social distancing and avoid gatherings of 10 or more people. Some states are already announcing that they plan to close schools for the rest of the year as well, so I cannot stress enough how incredibly historic and unprecedented all this is. Needless to say, these are crazy times, but I hope you're learning a lot from watching my videos. I'm trying to make them as informative and educational as I can, but I'm also trying to make them entertaining, fun, and lighthearted to bring some positivity to these chaotic times. With that being said, with the goal of bringing some more positivity to your day, I think today we're going to do something a little bit different. I think today we're going to go on our first virtual field trip. I haven't left my house since last Sunday, during which I ventured over to my local grocery store to pick up a few things. From the moment I got there, though, I knew something was up, since everyone was wearing gloves and wiping the shopping carts down with disinfectant. The store was also crazy busy, and the shelves were almost empty. People were everywhere, causing me to wonder where they all came from due to the fact that the area I live in is not that densely populated. These people were not here to browse either, though, as panic buying was clearly the main thing on their minds. I thus felt compelled to do the same, so I filled my cart with what I could, mainly green beans, and got out of there. Now, one could argue that I've been panic buying, social distancing, hoarding, and self-quarantining for years, long before it was the thing to do. In fact, I could turn that camera this way to prove it, but I'm not going to do that right now because this video is not about me, it's about the quarantine at hand. Now, one could argue that I've been panic buying, social distancing, self-quarantining, and hoarding for years. Now I could even turn that camera this way to prove that, but I'm not going to do that right now because we've other things to cover today. Back on topic though, we are technically under a quarantine right now, which is a fancy word for a period of restricted movement designed to help prevent the spread of an infectious disease or some other problem. There have been several historical examples of quarantines, usually due to diseases, often ones caused by viruses, plagues, decontamination, and even the unknown, as in the case of the Apollo space mission quarantines. Quarantines can have a variety of short-term and long-term physical, mental, and social effects on people as well. And when it comes to infectious disease-based quarantines, the current Coronavirus quarantine is already one of the most notable ones in history. Our world is essentially supposed to be shut down due to the coronavirus quarantines. I'm curious though to see just how many people are actually staying home and not out and about. With that being said, I'm feeling a bit adventurous today. So let's grab our masks, hit the road, and go see what's going on out in this crazy world today. Note that filming and driving is not very safe as well, so I arranged to get the one and only true Father Floyd to help me out by driving while I film. He is known for his tendency to say a lot of funny stuff, much like yours truly, so hopefully you'll enjoy that as well.
city one looks pretty normal. Nothing crazy. the fact that we're under a quarantine, the interstates look pretty normal. Plenty of cars out. It's all necessary travel. Yeah, right?
with the diesel. <laughs> There's no indication that there's a coronavirus quarantine going on right now with all the people out. It's not a quarantine, it's just closing both bars and all that kind of stuff. Lots of antique is going on. It's technically quarantine, it's restricted movement. Huh? It's restricted movement. Oh, she's looking wise. Yeah, go ahead. Police parking lot. It's packed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right aid. Right through is busy. Busy. Yeah. Sheets is really busy. Wow, yeah, Look at the McDonald's drive-thru. Oh, my wow. Look at the McDonald's drive-thru. Gym is closed. Yeah. Could uh, make sense for this. Fancy nails closed. This guy's open. Yeah. <laughs> Dog there. <laughs> what? I just. Yeah, was open. The other parts were. It doesn't look like there's too many people here, are there? No. Remember the day with the uh, the jug, yeah, the infamous yeah. jug incident that happened yeah. right there. Uh, the jug. Hardware the stores open. It used to be an Eckerd. It's just there, right? <laughs> it was an Eckerd, right? That was the Eckerd, right? Where? Oh, the Ace. Yeah. Or is that the Auto Parts? Uh, no, I don't know what. Oh, it was an Eckerd. I don't know what. Drive. They're still going in the store. Yeah, there are Starbucks. plenty of people out. Starbucks getting coffee. People are probably just going out, you know. Getting stuff to eat, just having fun. Well, there, I, I mean, well, <laughs> she's Holy shit. Yeah, this place I just said they tore it down and built a new one here. Yeah, what was there. that place? What was it in there? Big motel, restaurant, Nichols Village. Yeah. Motel and restaurant. You want to hit the Weiss? Yeah. A little uh, Weiss craziness loop. I'm running and see if they got any toilet paper. I'm not going in. Why not? It's a rival voice. I always look and see if anybody's got toilet paper. Mark, I don't know if there's something in there. There's no way there's toilet paper in that. Like yesterday, yeah. I was looking yesterday when everybody's kind of, you know, but I had toilet paper. Well, they have what nobody wants. Look, see? People are still just buying stuff like crazy. I don't know what. Yeah, like it's never this busy during the week, you know, when you come in here I know. at this time of day. People are just bored and going yeah. shopping. Look at all those naked people here. Look at this guy. Yeah, well, I got the virus, but no big. 
I know where this ends. I mean, the store's not going real fast. Are there even a lot of people in the store in there? Uh, there's lines. Yeah. Hey, it's the white span. Is that the white yeah, span? Yeah, it's right there. Did you drive that? Yes, I did. Oh my god. That's the one you got all lost? Yeah. I know where you were going. What's the testing doing back there? Get the coronavirus? It's curbside. Look at that. What are they doing? Let's go in there and they pick it up? I guess. Hey, look at that Sonoma. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. Real nice one. No rust on it at all. Crew cab. A little bit of rot. There. Yeah. Always rot. There's a nice S10 right there, too. Uh, the <laughs> hey, George in the background. The There's George. Virus. Epidemic, how oh, you got him? Yeah. <laughs> COVID-19. Day two. Yeah, the social distancing. Day social distancing. Enclosures of bars and non-essentials. George is not afraid to no breathe the air. Yeah, no worries about people. people. <laughs> Light ever. No, the longest light ever is an island by the Pizza Hut. <laughs> that is a long one, yeah. too. That is and a long that one. one is like downhill. Try to turn left, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. That is a forever. Yeah. How was that yesterday <laughs> when I was coming home from the place? The car dealer. Like, that light doesn't even work. It <laughs> sucks. I hated it. I sat there. I didn't know, too. The one time I kept down there, you know how the roads are like right there, two of them coming? Yeah. And they got, each got a light? It Not like many it. people distancing. It appears. This restaurant didn't shut down here. <laughs> the gourmet. They got no drive room. What was there? Denny's? Was there a Friendly's here once? Or Denny's? Uh -oh. ah! Remember? That was back there. Uh, or no, it was Big that, Boy or Bob's oh, Boy or that's something. That was all back there. That was all back at um, where the Dairy Queen is. Oh, so this is where the lines... Looks like it's open to me, doesn't it? Well, that's where the new power line went through then. Because look at all those trees that cut down. I thought they were supposed to be shut today, or is that tonight? I don't know.
people are looking at you. Trains are still running. COVID-19 train coming down, Corona-19. COVID-19 Express. Down, man. Kaiser Shopping Center, best store in the area, Ali's Bargain Outlet. And it is packed with people, like any other day. Not even the coronavirus can stop Bali's barking outlet. Wasn't this the place that was, uh, like somebody drove into it? Yeah. So Ollie's is packed, as usual. Coronavirus or no coronavirus? Is the goodwill closed? I don't know. Here is spinning around. Look, you walking right in there. They're still open. <laughs> I thought they said they were shutting all that. Goodwill still open? Mm -hmm. Dollar Tree. Holiday Air was closed. Dollar Tree's open? I guess they'd rather have to stay open. Sure. I heard Dollar Stores were making like special hours for uh, the yeah. elderly. Which way? Dixon? Yeah, through Dixon now. Walmart though for sure. Watch <laughs> I had a dream last night that I was uh in the Vimont Mall, I was in Bon Ton, and there was like an elevator, or an escalator. This should be shut. No, uh, you know what? The mall should be shut. Oh yeah, for sure. Is it? No. But I had a dream that there was an elevator in the Bon Ton, and it was taking me, uh, it's like second and third floor. This is a one floor, one story mall. Shut. And then it was in Sugarman's for a while. Dude, they were supposed to close. Here's a cop. I tell you. That's illegal. What? They're not, I can't believe they're all closed already, dude. Look at that. Is the Macy's closed or is that a business? Macy's might be closed. Yeah, there ain't no way in Macy's. Yeah, that's not essential. There's two people there. Maybe they're in here. Perkins the, uh, is probably closed. Cleaners. Is this place closed? The room? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it's lunchtime. You know what I mean? They're cleaning. Dams open. Doesn't look open. Burlington's closed. Gabe's is shut out. What is Gabe's? Looks like clothes outside. It's like Marshall's? Wasn't Marshall's there? What place down here in uh, Carbondale changed too, you know? It's oh, not, People's? Yeah, it's not People's anymore. Ames was the best though. Yeah. Here's the names. Pier 1's closed. Depot's open. No, they gotta be open. Pier Essential. Bank with buffets are shut. Oh, buffets are always. Yeah. Chuck, e, Chuck E. Cheese is closed. Yep, yep. Taco's open. They got drive through. That makes sense. 
Basilica is open. Maybe they're just doing deliveries or something. Cool check, yeah. Right, Basilica is. Yeah. Panera is shut. No. No, it looks kind of shut. Let's go check the wall. Up to the wall, George. Red Robin, Chipotle, they're all shit. Target CVS. I don't know why the Walmart is no longer blue. To me, that uh, actually it's not that crowded. If you think about it, for Walmart. It's gonna probably out everything. Every once. Jerry, get him, George. Get him, George. Get him, George. Get him all, George. Get him all. I haven't been to Walmart in like 10 years, but I'm pretty sure I saw that same guy last time I was here. <laughs> Only carts of Walmart. What's the Kmart now? Is that an actual store there? Or what's I don't know. What? Yeah. You see, they maintain it. Remember that one time, I think we were yep. parked down there, and those and guys were stealing CDs. Down, yeah, they ran down the hill. It was like, it was like Creed yeah, CDs. We were, we were at the yeah. freaking. The uh, Tasty Cake, cake place, store. yeah. I think he dropped them. Yeah, there was a couple of somebody was chasing yeah. him, remember? I do remember that. Oh my god, we chasing him out of there. Our ties have changed. People stealing CDs. Yeah, right? Now they just steal your identity. This guy here at the cart machine. Cart boy. No gloves. I'm surprised they don't have the gloves on here, you know? Yeah, I know. What are they doing up there? I don't know. They're in my hand. Where's the Ronald sign, too? They take that down. Make this down up there. Can't believe they tore down the good old Walmart. Yeah. What a shame. Linda, who worked at Weiss, she was there when it collapsed. She told really? me about it, yeah. It's a big mountain back there. Really. Yeah. There's a lot of land back there, actually. Yeah, right? well, yeah. There's that power line that we walked hunting down here, remember? And that goes all the way to Archibald. Yeah. Right. That's the power line we were on. We were hunting. That store is still open. So we got that Alpha yeah. side stuff. So it's still there. So 
the effects of the coronavirus have shut down Kmart, the greatest American store of all time. It's no longer anything. People are all quarantined, nobody's even out. Kmart has gone out of business. The old blue. Yes, that was the old blue. That old Kmart was an especially sad sight to see. Especially since Kmart's blue light special is what helped inspire the incredibly powerful blue mark. Well, aside from that Kmart being abandoned, which I'm pretty sure happened because it went out of business and not because of the coronavirus, our virtual field trip showed us that so far, the world out there is not that much different as what it normally is. If there's one thing that I want you to learn from today's video lesson though, it is that all joking and lightheartedness aside, the coronavirus is a very serious problem. People are not listening to the warnings though, and they're just going about their lives as usual, which can make this serious issue even worse. During times like this, taking extra precautions is always the smartest thing to do. We have incredibly powerful brains, but we need to listen and take the advice of professionals that know exactly what they're talking about during times like this to make sure that we're all safe. If we don't, something as comparatively simple as a virus could take our entire world down. So, on this third day of what is quickly becoming a historic time of school closures, I'm going to say it again, okay? Every single day, you got to make sure you're learning something. you got to use your brain and you got to use your time wisely. There are going to be a lot more of these video lessons in the coming days due to the nationwide school cancellations going on. So please subscribe to Chase Floyd Inc. and turn on notifications so you'll be able to see every single new video as they're released. While you're here, please check out all of my other great videos as well, such as my piano videos. And please, if you like this video, share it with your friends and anyone else that you think might enjoy it. It is going to be an interesting couple of weeks, so you got to use your time wisely and try to learn something new each and every day. With that being said, bell or no bell, we still work bell to bell in Mr. Floyd's class, even during crazy times like these. So, I hope you learned a lot today, and I'll see you all tomorrow for another exciting video lesson. I had to get my green beans. I found the last three no salt cut green beans in the store. I was the luckiest man that day. Not everyone made it out though. As lucky as I did with green beans. Not just that, no salt cut green beans. Mmm. Didn't get much better than that. And they were still in the box. So you made it better. You know somebody had left it and ran. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that, Heath.